Now at least six people from Maryland have been arrested for taking part in the siege. The FBI and D.C. police have posted dozens of pictures of wanted suspects, including this man who subsequently lost his job at a business in Frederick after his picture was posted. Earlier today, Governor Hogan spoke about the attack on the Capitol, saying that he was in an emergency meeting with Japanese officials when he got an urgent call for help. Uh, right in the middle of that meeting with our security team, I uh, got a phone call from House Majority Leader Steny Hoyer, who uh, was calling me saying that he uh, and Speaker Pelosi and Senator Schumer were all together in uh, an undisclosed bunker they've been uh, spirited off to, some undisclosed location, uh, that the U.S. Capitol Police was overwhelmed, uh, that there was no federal law enforcement presence, and that the leader of, leaders of Congress were pleading with me as the governor of Maryland for assistance from Maryland's National Guard and State Police. I informed Speaker Hoyer and the other leaders that a force of specially trained riot police equipped to respond to civil disturbances uh, along with uh, members of allied uh, and local law enforcement agencies were already on, en route to the Capitol. I also told them that I authorized the mobilization of the Maryland National Guard and that I was ready, willing, and able to immediately deploy them to the Capitol. However, uh, we were repeatedly denied approval to do so. Eventually, as you know, the Maryland National Guard and state troopers did aid in this situation in D.C.